Welcome to Technical Studies. If you get an isometric drawing for fabrication, what you will do first? I am sure, you will check, what is the size of the pipe, then the pipe schedule, flange class etc. One of the main tasks in pipe fabrication is, marking the length of the pipe. To mark the length of the pipes, the minimum things, you need to know are the takeoff of the fittings, the flange height according to the class of the flange, sometimes the gasket thickness, and the root gap of the joint. Assume that the pipe size is 6 inches. Item numbers 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9 are pipes. Let us calculate the length of pipe 1. To calculate the length of pipe 1, we need to reduce the flange height and the elbow center from the measurement 1200 mm. Check the height of the flange in the table. Since the pressure rating is 150, the height of the flange is 88.9 mm. Note down the height. Check the takeoff length of the elbow. It is 229 mm. Assume the root gap is 3 mm. Substitute the sum of the height of the flange, elbow takeoff, and two root gaps from the total length of 1500. Length of pipe P1 is 882.1 mm. Please check the description for links to download the flange and pipe fittings dimension charts. Let us calculate the length of item number 3. We already know the takeoff length of the 6 inch long radius elbow. Now, check the chart for the takeoff of length of the equal T. It is 143 millimeters. The length of item number 3 is 1,122 millimeters. Takeoff length of the 45 degree elbow is 95 millimeters. The true lengths of pipes P3, P4, and P5 are given. You can cross-check if the answers are correct or not. Please check the description for this sketch. Thank you for watching.